Hi, welcome to the Jaffa programming tutorial. What we're going to be looking at is graphical user interfaces. Now, the program you see on the screen is the one that we've been using, and it's called Eclipse. And it's an IDE, it's an integrated development environment, and it's wrote in, in Jaffa. What that means is everything you see on the screen in this program you can do yourself it's very simple now everything in Jaffa um, is like containers and components to do with graphical user interfaces now a container as you can imagine will hold things and what it holds is components now, components are things like buttons check boxes um, labels Um, text areas, um, these sort of things, and a container is a frame, and it's also a panel. Now, you can have, you can't have a frame within a frame. At least I don't think you can. Um, no, you wouldn't have, right? But you can have a panel within a frame. A panel is a container, just like a frame. So. When you add a, co a component to to a, a container, um, you want to know where that com where that component is going to be displayed. Just like this program, you can see on the screen, someone's designed it. It's laid out in a specific way. That's to do with layout managers. We're going to go into detail with them. There's different layout managers and a panel. You can have many different panels in a frame and you can have panels within panels and each one can have a different layout manager and so this is the frame here the frame is a window and and you can see if I pull this across that it's got the three boxes at the end so that's a container and it's going to it holds all these components these panels and these components now what it has in here, this is a title bar and this here is a menu bar which is a component we've all seen them, we've all used them this here is a tool bar where you can click an icon to do something and that's a component this here is a docking station and if I make it free we can drag this over to different parts, put it on the bottom, put it on the other side, and put it back again. So we can do all these things very easy in Java. Now where we're going to start is we're going to start with <coughs> creating a frame. And what you can see is that I've extended with the extends keyword JFrame. That's from Swing. J panel and J button and all the rest, that's all from Swing. We all start with a J. And inside the constructor of this class I created, I've set the parameters for this frame. I've given it a name. Use this frame for the title bar, which will come up here. And I set the size 200 by 200. This method here is what you've got here as you've got a, a button here that to close the program by default when you click it the window disappears but it's still in memory for it to close when to, for when you click that button and the window disappears and to disappear from memory at the same time so the program is completely closed you've got to use this method and put this um, attribute inside it jframe dot exit on close and to see the frame you've got to use this method and put it to true and we need obviously we need a, a main me, a main um, method and we create an instance of the class which has the frame and so this will run the program and so if I run the program that's that's the frame we've created there's no components in it so it doesn't do anything 
that's 200 by 200 and we can make it big uh, if we print that again it didn't work we can make it wee uh, well sorry I made it wee and then I got it wrong there sorry and so we can make it wee and we can make it big and if we can okay and then we can close the program now what I'll show you if, if we take away the size comment the size out save the program on the program now the, the size we've not set the size so default was the smallest it could be and if we do the if we don't set visible to true save run the program the program's running We can't see it. Just run it again, just to make sure there. We just can't see it. That's it running there, so we'll stop it. So that's because we set visibility, default is false, so that you don't see it. And you have to set it to true, and that's what this method is for. So that's the first tutorial on graphical user interface, we're going to go deeper into it. You're going to be able to create um, really good um, user um, graphical user interfaces. So that's the first tutorial, so again thank you for your time.